Mark Zuckerberg a year ago when we were here for uh, the conference, it was right around that time that he announced that Meta was the new name of the company and that they were going to be a metaverse company. And so that just like created so much confusion because most of the people who had been working in spatial computing, like the way that it had been called prior to everybody calling it the metaverse, um, they were, you know, they were like, okay, it's the metaverse, Facebook's gonna call it the metaverse, I guess we all have to call it the metaverse. But it just has been, it's been a year of, of hype and confusion, and this is very typical of new technologies, where people are like, the metaverse is coming, but where is it, you know? I can't see it, it's not here yet. Uh, so I wanna talk to you guys about what it really means. And I think this will set everybody at ease, I hope, because it's a little bit like, you know, the, um, the internet now, we all innately understand what the internet is, um, we don't call it the information superhighway anymore like we used to in the 90s, right? It's like, it's just the internet. And so the metaverse is the next generation of the internet. Like, it's not, it, it is more, it's the, it's the evolution of what we will be doing with the new protocols and new standards and the way that the architecture of the internet will evolve. But it is the internet. And... I have uh, also some, you know, uh, I've got this quote here from Tony Parisi, who is one of the chief architects of 3D file formats on the web, on the existing web, like how we see 3D objects, right? He wrote GLTF, which if anybody has used, I mean, so many things like AR filters, like uh, filters on Snapchat, those are almost all GLTF file formats. And we're going to talk about file formats a little bit more because it's, it's actually really critical to the way you can experiment and learn about uh, this technology. So, look, Tony's like, check it out, guys. There is only one metaverse. Like, anybody saying there are multiple metaverses, those are virtual worlds. Those are games, like Roblox. That's a game. There is no interoperability. You're not going between worlds, you know? And so this idea um, that there, that that we already have it is, is a little bit of like, we're getting ahead of ourselves. It's still being built. Uh, and it's really this, you know, as you can see here, it's the sum total of publicly accessible worlds, real-time 3D content, related media that are connected to an open global network, controlled by none and accessible to all. And the other thing that Tony says, and, and thanks to Chris, yes, I do, I will have some links and lots of stuff for you guys to check out after this talk. But uh, Tony also wrote the seven rules of the metaverse. And one of the, the two, besides that it's the internet, the two other ones that are really important are like, look, it's open for everyone. The idea of a metaverse is it's open for all. It's accessible for all. There will be places you can't go, just like the internet today. Like, I can't get into your bank, bank without a password. So it's going to be, there will be private places and there will be open places. But it will be accessible to all. Um, and yeah, and so that's, that's very important, and it's for everyone, right? It's not just limited. But in this term metaverse also, have, have any of you guys read Snow Crash? Do you know this? Are, are there any science fiction fans in here? Because there's like a couple. Okay. So the word metaverse came from a 1991 novel uh, by Neil Stevenson, like huge sci-fi um, uh, sci author. And let's see, you guys can listen to what he said about it. Completely sold on metaverse, but it was the best I could come up with, and I was a young man in a hurry, so <laughs> <laughs> metaverse it is. Okay, cool. So this is Neil Stevenson. Two weeks ago, I uh, heard him speak at a conference, and you know, he was even being asked by the moderator, like, what's this metaverse? You know, like, what about this word? And he's like, look, I, I was a young man in a hurry, and I came up with this word. And so again, you know, Mark Zuckerberg takes it and says it's the metaverse. And so here we are. But he's not even sold on it. 